This supercomputer called Cheyenne was installed at NCAR's computing center in Cheyenne, Wyoming in November of 2016. At the time, it was one of the top 20 most powerful computers in the world. But NCAR says its science is already outpacing that technology. And in January, they got approval to replace Cheyenne after just five years in operation. So scientists want faster and more powerful supercomputers. They want more storage so they can store their data. Irfan Halahi is the director of NCAR's computing division. He says the new supercomputer, which will be installed later this year, will be three and a half times faster than Cheyenne at nearly 20 petaflops. What that means, uh, theoretically, you can perform 20 quadrillion calculations per second. To put that into perspective, it's equivalent to every person on the planet solving an equation every second for an entire month. And Allahi says the processors in the new supercomputer will be graphics-based, which will open a whole new world of artificial intelligence to NCAR scientists. And uh, I personally think that that will uh, 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 leapfrog some of these advancements uh, 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 in atmospheric and geoscience that we are doing uh, with the use of artificial intelligence. And it won't just be the geosciences that will benefit from the new computing power. NCAR is also part of the COVID-19 consortium that lends its computing power to scientists researching the virus and the disease surrounding the pandemic. The 35 to $40 million project will be funded by the National Science Foundation. I'm really, really, really looking forward to getting the new system fully operational. Uh, and advancing science in ways that will lead to better understanding of the world around us. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, Nine News.